former party girls over 40 are coming to the shocking realization that men don't want them anymore. And now, finally, after all these years, they want you. I want you, mister. I've had my fun and I'm ready to settle for you. I just want someone to grow old with. I want my forever man. I'm starting to hear these terms thrown around, especially on these dating apps, and it's pretty, pretty disgusting. So let's dive into this topic tonight, guys, about these former party, party girls who are over 40, who are finally coming to the realization that men just don't want them anymore, especially men their own age. That was at least the men that they could rely on, right? Those are the men they've been relying on their entire lives. It's like men their own age is finally going to save me. Uh, one day after I'm done riding the carousel and I'm done, you know, flaking on all these beta males, men my own age are going to come around and save me one day. And then they, they finally get off the carousel after riding all these dicks, like, dozens upon dozens, even hundreds of different random dicks out there, different men sleeping around, partying their asses off, going off to Cabo with their girlfriends, going clubbing every weekend, going to happy hour, constantly looking for the BBD, never finding it, constantly being hypergamous, cheating on boyfriends, Finally now, I didn't cash in my chips. Now I want to cash in my chips. I'm over 40 and I want to cash it in. I just want a good man. Just want a good man I can grow old with. Be my forever man. Be my forever man. And now you're realizing that there is none. Right? Men don't want you anymore. Even men their own age. Right? And I actually just did a coaching video on this about how uh, women are pissed off. Older women over 30 are pissed off that... You know, they can't even get men their own age anymore. Why? Because men their own age are going for younger women. But this is uh, about women who are over 40. Women who have just completely bypassed sudden death overtime and are thinking they could just turn the lights back onto the stadium and bring the crowds back in and replay the game all over again. No, doesn't work. Doesn't work. We didn't even get to replay the presidential election, right? No, doesn't work. So now you're screwed. And so these former party girls are coming to the point in their lives where they're actually getting a little lonely, right? They're getting a little lonely. They're getting desperate for male attention because they're no longer getting it, especially right now with the pandemic going on and all these lockdowns that we've gone through and these mask orders where they can't like see their faces, they can't show their faces and can't show off they're no longer getting that same attention. So now they're even desperate more than ever. This is why a lot of these women are storming these dating apps because they know time is running out, right? Time is just ticking away. Time, time, time is ticking away. And so they um, are freaking out, okay? They're freaking out and they're actually even getting angry about this, you know? And I talked about how I was on a live stream, had a damaged female hate on me on my live stream be like, so gross, perverted. Why are you going for these 20 somethings? Oh, you creepy old man. Why are you going for these gross 20 somethings? They're already old. Why do you have to go for them? It's like, oh, so I should be going for women your age? Should I just be sacrificing the fact that I built a successful business, that I'm financially secure, that I live in a great, safe, gated neighborhood, that I'm driving my dream cars? that I bought this nice Alienware laptop, this top of the line Alienware laptop the other day. It was like almost five grand. And I'm in the best shape of my life, have more energy than ever. I have way more attention than I've ever gotten from girls in their late teens, early 20s. So I should just bypass all that, right? Ignore all that to date you, a 45 year old single mother with three kids out of wedlock. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> but sadly, I mean, a lot of these former party girls, it's like they're so delusional that even though instinctually they know the party is over, they don't want to admit the party is over, right? It's kind of like when your favorite team loses in the Super Bowl or the NFC Championship and you're like, no, he, if, if we could just go back and replay that one catch where there was pass interference 
we would win that game. Right? You just want to replay it so bad, but you can't. You can't. And you just have to move forward. A lot of these former party girls over 40 do not just want to sit down and admit, I screwed up. I rode the carousel. I slept with dozens, maybe even hundreds of men. I cannot expect some high value man to want me now, especially a man my own age, because a man my own age, especially if he's crushing in life, has sexual marketplace value. His value's here, my value's here, right? I don't have anything to offer anymore. Men don't care about my degrees. Men don't care that I've got a corner office at my corporate job and I climb the career ladder, men don't care about that. I've realized men care about looks, youth, and fertility. Say it with me again, looks, youth, and fertility. This is why I don't date women my own age. Are you crazy? You should not date women your own age. Don't date women your own age, guys, especially if you're over 30. Do not date women your own age. Why? Because you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't need to, what for? If you could eat in a five-star restaurant with prime rib and the best steak in the world, Angus steak, if you could eat in the best five-star restaurants in the world, why go to McDonald's? Why go to Taco Bell? Unless you feel like dumpster diving, right? But why? Why, why, why? Because you don't have to. That like So that woman making the comment, that's like asking me, and I just posted a, I just posted on my IG at Mass Cross Official. I posted uh, my dinner that I had at the Bellagio. Had the dinner at the Bellagio last night. It was a couple of hundred bucks. Me and my girl um, had steak. Had the entire fittings. Had a great meal. Had a perfect view of the entire strip. A couple hundred bucks. Why? Because I can. I can do that. Could we have gone to McDonald's? Yeah but I didn't need to. I don't need to. I don't want to, right? I don't want to. When I get girls like in their 40s, well, not girls, sorry, older women, mature women, uh, trying to shame, and you will have that too. They'll try to shame you from dating younger women because that's how they remove their competitions. Like, hey, why aren't you dating me? They try to, they try to um, pull the rug out from underneath younger girls so they could stand on top of them and be like, no, look at me, I'm in my 40s. We relate more to each other. We're part of the same generation. Oh, we'll have more stimulating, enlightening conversation and intellectual conversation. I'm like, I don't care about that. I just care about hotness, youth and fertility. And then beyond that, be a good person. Be somebody who's fun to hang out with. Don't bust my balls like a lot of older women do. This is why you stay single because you constantly bust balls because now you're in this place in life where you've just been living single for so long that it's got to be done your way. It's got to be all about you. It's not even about the guy or your relationship. It's all about you. You go into these relationships looking to take versus looking to give. That's why I love dating younger women too that are half my age. They have not reached that tipping point yet where they become the damaged goods. They've been single so long that now they have a resentment towards men. They have an anger towards men. They become louder and more boisterous. They haven't reached that tipping point yet. They can still be saved. And those relationships on top of that, there's a, there's a fair exchange of uh, transactional value where the girl is coming in, bringing in her looks and I'm coming in, bringing in my life experience, my financial stability and the fact that I'm older, you know, I'm not living in uh, you know, in a basement or anything like that. I'm not, you know, working at uh, at uh, Toys R Us or whatever place like Best Buy. But I mean, I have a successful business. I mean, there's an equal exchange of value there. Whereas if I date an older woman who's my own age, what am I getting out of that? I don't need her money. I got plenty of money. I don't need hers. What is she going to bring to the table? A loud mouth, a masculine attitude, feminist values. What do I want with that? Right? Besides that, she's going to bring more wrinkles to the table, more fine lines, right? I'm getting them too. More fine lines. She's going to bring like maybe a little, starting to have a little bit of a turkey neck, maybe more poundage. Um, besides just not being able to bring the looks to the table, she's going to be bringing emotional baggage to the table. All this stuff does not weigh in her favor. And it's like my value's here and her value just is down here, right? And it's very common. It's a very common scenario with most guys who are in their 40s. You reach a level of financial stability. You're more mature. You have more world knowledge. You have more life experience. And you know what? Younger girls 
dig that. Younger girls love that. Younger girls want to be mentored by you, educated by you. And now, more than ever, want to know why? Because so many guys have been pussified out there. Masculinity is being shamed into the ground. Most men out there are afraid to be men. They're afraid to act like men. They're afraid to exert any form of dominance, strength, masculinity, because it's all about the woman. They're afraid to do that. So when you do that, when I do that, it's extremely attractive to the girl, especially younger, hotter women, because now we have something of rarity. We have something of extreme value that she cannot find in just any guy. It takes a while to find these type of guys like us who are just masculine, dominant, not afraid to be ourselves, hold our frame. We don't kowtow to the feminine. We don't, you know, start like supplicating to her womanness. No, we're just, we're men, right? We're men and we expect women to act like women. And if you don't like it, don't date me. Don't date me. Right, but uh, you'll, you will not find this, these qualities <laughs> in women over 40. Being feminine, being able to shut up, being submissive, being open-minded. No, you're going to find very close-minded, very egotistical, very self-centered, very loud, very preachy type women in their 40s if they're still single. No man wants to hook up with that. Even low-value men. That's who they have to choose from is like low-value guys in their 40s and then very much older men like guys who, like guys who could be their grandfather's age will still want to date them because for them it's like oh this much younger woman they're willing to date them still but uh even those guys if they're if they're high value like a high value 65 or 70 year old guy who has financial abundance he still has his energy uh, he's not gonna want to date no 45 year old single mom with three kids he's gonna want to date like a 25 year old right at best, a 35-year-old. He's not going to want no 40-year-old. These former party girls, man, it's their own fault, right? It's their own fault. All those weekends that they went clubbing nonstop, all those times they went bar hopping with their girlfriends and left their man at home, all those times they hopped in the sack with some guy behind their back, now they're paying the price, right? Now they're paying the price because they didn't cash in their chips when they were younger and they stayed on the carousel and... They made a bad decision. Don't let these former party girls over 40 ever shame you for dating women who are half your age or half their age who could be their daughters. Don't ever let them shame you. You should be proud of it because you're getting an equal transactional value for what you're bringing to the table. If you date a woman your own age, you're getting ripped off, okay? You're getting ripped off. You're paying Lamborghini prices for a used 1992 Toyota Corolla DX. Not even the LX, the DX. Right? That's what you're getting. You're paying the Lambo prices for a Toyota Corolla, an old one. <laughs> Why would you do that? Right? You have to value yourself. There's more shame in dating a woman your own age than dating a woman half your age. I will tell you that right now. There's more shame in that because it just shows that you don't value yourself. When people see me walking around with my girl, my girl's 19. When they see me walking around with her, they're like, fuck, this dude is killing it. This dude is a man. This dude's like values himself, right? This guy has standards. Of course, you're gonna get haters, right? Might get a few guys hating, like, <laughs> right? But for the most part, even those guys, they respect you secretly. And as for the women, you might get a few women shaming you, like, Ugh, it could be his daughter, it could be his daughter's age. Oh, what is he doing? You know, but that's what they do. You can't change that, right? So, former party girls over 40, they realize men don't want them anymore. The game has ended, the stadium lights are off. That's when they're like, wait, wait, everybody come back. Wait, wait, let's let's do this again. I wanna, I wanna be good, I want a good man. I want my forever man. No, 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 you've had your fun. Now, <sighs> peace out. <laughs> so until next time guys, as always, drop your comments below. If you've dealt with these former party girls over 40, all used up, past their prime, trying to give you attention, especially on these dating apps that you guys use. I do cold approach, I don't do the dating apps, but if you have stories you wanna share, please share them below, I'd love to hear it. And obviously it helps other guys in our community so they don't fall prey to these girls, these older, more mature women in their 40s trying to uh, shame them into dating them or anything like that, or trying to trick them or manipulate them into dating them and taking care of their kids, their kids out of wedlock, 
Leave your stories below. I would love to hear it. And until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified not only whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube, but also whenever I live stream on YouTube. Okay? That's why you want to make sure you're notified because whenever I live stream, I don't really announce it. I just go live. So if you're notified, you'll find out right away. You'll get on your cell phone like, M is going live, baby. I got to jump on. And then you'll get to ask questions. So make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And obviously, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Obviously, they don't like promoting this type of content. <sighs> they just don't. So I need your help by subscribing to my channel. It helps me out a ton and I would very much appreciate it. And for you guys who want to support all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I am teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens under the age of 30. Eights, nines, and tens, the hottest and most attractive looking women out there. Same type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all around the world now are out there approaching closing every single week. And I kid you not, every single week we make this happen regardless of what virus is going on, any racial division, any new president coming into the White House. Right? We are making things happen and we are continuing to grind and live our lives and pick up the hottest women out there. And this is the absolute best way to support my work. And right now the first month is only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lesson from me. So take advantage of it. This is $1 for the entire first month. And all you need to do, really easy to get signed up, just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Peace, I'm out. Just like a rap video.